Something is wrong here. Something is wrong. Something is being hidden. It's not about seeding, seeding Sina to, 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 to Cameroon. That's not the problem. But why is Nigeria shy away from taking Rumske before they go to give Sina, uh, Sina if they are going to give Sina? When the beacons were placed, they were placed along watershed, which is the cardinal point of the judgment. But along the line, when they came to Rumske, whether you are aware, Antony General, or you are not aware, when they came to place beacons in Rumske, which Nigeria gained from Cameroon, which is a tourist center, the mixed commission reported that they couldn't find watershed, that the watershed is missing. I'm, I'm, verbatim, I'm quoting because I was on the field with the staff, former director of National Boundary Commission. So they, that the watershed is missing, that they cannot demarcate Rumsike, which is given to Nigeria, that they cannot demarcate that village because watershed is missing. And honestly speaking, um, my background is geology. He, the time we stood there, I told him, I don't need instrument. Watershed is the mountain peak. See the mountain peak. But they declined. No, we cannot enter Rumsike. For what? Because it's dear to Nigeria. I don't know, Antonio General, whether you have ever asked this question, Rumsike, why is it not given to Nigeria? Why is it not becomed? And why do you, our people are protesting? Whether we are seated to Cameroon or, or left in Nigeria, we are one tribe, I told you, we have one local government there. So we are not doing emotional beating here. We are neither complaining that we are having some challenges if we are relocated. But the issue is the territory that is given to Nigeria and, you, and the Miss Commission refused to demarcate, to give to Nigeria. You have not complained. Then now you jump and begin to take Sina to give to Cameroon. This is where the problem arises. When the beacon started from point A in Michigan local government up to the place, it ended 80%. Was there any complaint? Mangodi was there demarcated. Uh, Guria was demarcated. Yellow was demarcated. Was there any complaint? Have we protested? Is it not the same people that were in the same border um, that are in the same border that allow it to go? But why is it that we are seeing something wrong? Nigeria gained and Cameroon somehow, I don't know. Either overlap, whatever I can say, and uh, they are now trying to introduce treaty. Even if there is treaty, can one village out of the entire community have a treaty? If if there is a treaty on this territory, it is all of us, including those areas that have been demarcated. So why is one village of less than two thousand population? Why is it of interest that it has its own treaty with whom? Something is wrong here. Something is wrong. Something is being hidden. It's not about seeding, seeding Sina to, 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 to Cameroon. That's not the problem. But why is Nigeria shy away from taking Rumske before they go to give Sina, uh, Sina if they are going to give Sina? We should try to be as patriotic, as patriotic as we can. Whether you are affected today or you are not affected by your decisions today. The thing that is lacking, the very basic ingredient that is lacking in this country is patriotism. I have not seen it enough. Because if you are patriotic, you want to protect the people, whether they, are, they speak your language, even if they abuse you in the morning, it doesn't matter. If it is your responsibility to protect them, you should. I don't know why you will mark this one by river. When you get to this one, no, 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 no. We don't have to use the river again. But let us climb the mountain. You mentioned that these people lived on the mountain before now. How many decades ago were they living on the mountain? When did they come down to the valley as to have dispersed them beyond where the mountain is into another territory? These are questions that we need to, to find answers to Madam Chair. There seems to be uh, maybe some doubt in the, the judgment. Because if you are using the watershed here and then you are coming and saying these people came down from the valley and now you are using the valley, then there must be some um, uh, interpretation issue. Is it not, is it out of place to go back to the International Court of Justice? So when we are tracing the boundaries, we have to talk to 
take over some communities of Melenu that fell on the other side. We have uh, part of uh, Buria, Mokoge, Nyende, Rumsu villages that were now relinquished by Kebel because they, they were found to be on the Nigerian side. So if, there, if there's any Nigerian territory that is now falling on the Cameroon side, we do the same. Because this, prior to this demarcation exercise, the people had never really contemplated where exactly they are. But now the court has said, go and put the boundary down on the ground. So as we are putting it, we are discovering that this is the line. Some of these communities are wrongly placed. And the agreement is, if a country, I mean, if a settlement is on your side, even if it belongs to your side, there should be agreement for taking over and handing over. And we, we have done that over some settlements that were linked to Michigan local government area of Nigeria. And uh, Vito, some other areas, like we said, we lost 33 villages to, in the, in the, in the, in the Lechard region. Because these are villages of, Niger of, of Nigerians. So if we were to go by the argument, we would have said no, they are Nigerians, they must be placed in Nigeria, so the boundary must be changed to enclose them in Nigeria. So that is not what Nigeria is all for. Yes, you know, we had a meeting in Yola. We agreed that the community has to be sensitized. So we are waiting for our delegation from National Boundary Commission to come to Adamawa, go to the local government, and they go together to the community. That, that's what we are expecting. But to our surprise, is now, this process has not been followed. The next thing we had is people coming through Cameroon territory to come and demarcate. No notice, nothing was given. So that is why the community resisted. And that is why they couldn't allow them to continue. So we had a meeting actually, but it was not implemented. Redefining would cause more problems than solutions. And that was the basis for the decision in 1964. It wasn't the decision, a decision that any of us here took. It's a decision that we, we, you know, we grew up to meet was already existing. So whilst we also sympathize with the affected communities, they have the opportunity to relocate in what's into what is accepted as Nigerian territory or to continue to reside where they are, but understand that they are Cameroonian territories. They are Nigerians living on the other side of the border. I think that's really the issue. And if there are issues of resettlement, then these are issues we can engage with the National Boundary Commission, the states, the local governments affected. Communities have a right, and their rights must be considered. And even the treaty says it in article, what article is it again? <laughs> yes, one of the articles. So you, so it's very important that the national boundary community and the communities work together. Otherwise, this demarcation exercise should be put on hold until the disputes are resolved and what is causing these disputes are resolved. So I rule that you put the demarcation exercise on hold pending the resolution of all the disputed territories.